Ingersoll, scene one, take one. We are a nation of Christians and Muslims, Jews and Hindus, and non-believers. Secularism. Several people have asked me the meaning of this term. Secularism is the religion of humanity. It embraces the affairs of this world. It is interested in everything that touches the welfare of a sentient being. It advocates attention to the particular planet in which we happen to live. It means that each individual counts for something. It is a declaration of intellectual independence. It means that the pew is superior to the pulpit. That those who bear the burden shall have the profits. And that they who fill the purse shall hold the strings. It is a protest against theological oppression, against ecclesiastical tyranny. Against being the serf, subject, or slave of any phantom or of the priest of any phantom. It is a protest against wasting this life for the sake of one that we know not of. It proposes to let the gods take care of themselves. It is another name for common sense. That is to say, the adaptation of means to such ends as are desired and understood. Secularism believes in building a home here, in this world. It trusts to individual effort, to energy, to intelligence, to observation and experience, rather than to the unknown and the supernatural. It desires to be happy on this side of the grave. Secularism means food and fireside, roof and raiment, reasonable work and reasonable leisure, the cultivation of the tastes, the acquisition of knowledge, the enjoyment of the arts, and it promises for the human race comfort, independence, intelligence, and above all, liberty. 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 It means the abolition of sectarian feuds, of theological hatreds. It means the cultivation of friendship and intellectual hospitality. It means the living for ourselves. And each other. <laughs> for the present instead of the past for this world rather than for another. It means the right to express your thought in spite of popes, priests, and gods. It means that impudent idleness shall no longer live upon the labor of honest men. It means the destruction of the business of those who trade in fear. It proposes to give serenity and content to the human soul. It will put out the fires of eternal pain. It is striving to do away with violence and vice, with ignorance, poverty, and disease. It lives for the ever-present today and the ever-coming tomorrow. It does not believe in praying and receiving, but in earning and deserving. It regards work as worship, labor as prayer, and wisdom as the savior of mankind. It says to every human being, take care of yourself so that you may be able to help others. Adorn your life with the gems called good deeds. Illumine your path with the sunlight called friendship and love. Secularism is a religion, a religion that is understood. It has no mysteries, no mumblings, no priests, no ceremonies, no falsehoods, no miracles, and no persecutions no persecutions. It considers the lilies of the field and takes thought for the morrow. It says to the whole world, work that you may eat, drink, and be clothed. Work that you may enjoy, work that you may not want. Work that you may give and never need. <laughs>